All right. So, yeah, this is the Mexican cerveza that I made uh, about a month ago. It's now two weeks bottle conditioned. I put it in the fridge last night. Let's, uh, let's pop it open and see what it sounds like. It should have a nice hiss to it now. Let's get this. this one's got some nice pressure in the bottle. So Let's see. I probably shouldn't do this over my equipment, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's even got the little smoke. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's pour it into the glass. See what she's got happening here. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Well, it's got a little bit of a head to it. Not a whole lot. A little bit of a head to it. It's all right. I don't think a cerveza normally has a very big head. Put the cap back on that sucker. <sighs> okay. Let's check this out here. Well, it doesn't smell green like it did before. Just hang on a second here. I'm going to grab my flashlight. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah, uh, fat bald guy's back, for those of you that missed me. <sighs> Let's see here. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Look at that. That is clear. That is nice and clear. A little bit, tiny little bit of a haze in there, if any at all. Look at that. It has, it has bubbles. Now, when I tasted this last week... <laughs> okay, last time when I tried this, it was pretty green. We're gonna try it now and see what it's like. Here we go, cheers. Oh, way nicer now. One week, made a nice difference on that for sure. It's still a little green, but it ain't green and sour. Hey, you dumb duck, how you doing? So yeah, that's the uh, homebrew Mexican cerveza. I'm not going to go stick a lemon or lime wedge in there, but uh, you know. That's not bad at all. Actually, that's, that's going to turn out to be pretty decent, I think.